it is a serious political incident plotted by the United States. The arrest of Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou a year ago in Vancouver has created a diplomatic dilemma. Meng says she has experienced torment in the year since, and the new Chinese ambassador to Canada says that our country is bending to the United States. And for Canada, it abused the uh, bilateral extradition extradition treaty between Canada and the United States. Sunday marked the one-year anniversary of Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou's arrest when she stepped off a plane at Vancouver International Airport. Meng is wanted by the United States, which accuses her of violating U.S. trade sanctions against Iran. Both Huawei and Meng have repeatedly denied any wrongdoing, and Chinese officials say Canada should let Meng go. We asked the Canadian side to release Madame Meng you know, immediately. So to let her travel back to China safely. Following Meng's arrest, China quickly fired back, arresting two Canadian businessmen who remain in Chinese custody. China also ratcheted up pressure by temporarily cutting off Canadian meat imports and halting Canadian canola imports. While the two Canadian businessmen remain incarcerated, Meng is currently on bail in Vancouver, free to travel throughout the city. Sunday, Meng released a poem to mark the one-year anniversary of her detention. It was never my intention to be stuck here so long, but I suddenly find that a whole year has snuck by, and here I still am. The past year has witnessed moments of fear, pain, disappointment, helplessness, torment and struggle. Despite the experience, Meng still has praise for Canada. Of course, I've also been deeply moved by the kindness of people here in Canada. Thanks to the kindness of the correctional officers and other inmates at the Alouette Correctional Centre for Women, I was able to make it through the worst days of my life. Families and friends of the two incarcerated Canadians are concerned about their treatment and a lack of access to consular officials. But China's new ambassador says everything is being done by the book. For consular visits, we are just carrying out exactly what has been agreed upon by our two sides. That's a consular agreement between China and Canada. Last week, a former Liberal MLA in British Columbia accused China of detaining him in 2015 and searching his government BlackBerry. But the new ambassador accuses other countries of bad behaviour. Actually, it's other countries who is trying to interfere in China's internal affairs, like in Hong Kong, you know, some Western countries just uh, embolden those violent criminals. Meng Wanzhou's extradition hearing is set to begin in January. Global Affairs Canada says it continues to seek further access to the two Canadians. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.